You want to show me the stuff that you donated for your family one more time? Sure. I remember so it was over here. He rearranged it a little bit. This the bugle. Right. That's the Japanese bugle off Guadalcanal Battlefield. And who got that? My father, right next to it. Okay. That's his picture with the dog tag. Folks, what I'm going to do now is the city's got such a history, I'm going to create a website just for her and her family. She gave a lot of do a lot of the military stuff to the museum here. That's her dad right there. And this is a bugle that he got off of a Japanese bugler. Off Guadalcanal. Off of Guadalcanal. That's his brother, the flag to the left. Right up here? Uh-huh. That's my uncle Luther Howe. Okay. He was in World War II also. This guy here? Yes. Okay. I'm trying to read what he did there. Okay, I see now. All right. And then Uncle Luther's son, Bill Howe, he's back in Vietnam. Okay. He served with the, um, his last assignment was Operation New Life. Okay. With working with the um, Vietnamese refugees. He was in and out of the service several times, and I honestly cannot remember the first time he enlisted. But his last assignment was oh, okay. working. He's part of the Wolfhounds. Yes, he was. And this is his his was this his actual uniform, huh? Yes, it was. I had the, he had two. He had the dress green, and he had the khaki. Uh -huh. And I ended up having them um, pressed for his funeral, and I didn't want to you know, just throw them away or anything. I tried right. selling them, hoping I'd find a Hey, yeah, you told me this story. Go on. And I got a phone call from a woman who said she was going to be buying them for the museum. Uh -huh. But, you know, when you're selling stuff, you don't really pay attention to what right. somebody's saying. So I, um, she came to the house and bought them. And then a couple of days later, I got a phone call from a man who said he was the curator of the museum, and he wanted to know if I still had the uniforms. And I said, well, I think you're getting them. So I sort of ruined Leah's surprise. Yeah. She was going to surprise Mark. Mark Conrad was the one who called the second time. So when I found out who she was and what she did down here, I gave her money back and donated the uniforms. Yeah, very good. Thank <laughs> and donated, you. Um, ended up donating Dad's things and Uncle Luther's things, too. Yeah. And Mark Conrad would love to be the recipient of a Korean Navy uniform of my uncle's. <laughs> he just said he picked up one today in Kettering. He picked up a Navy I blue got, yeah, uniform. Yeah. And he said that man served on the sh same ship as my uncle Kenny did. Ah. So. You got to go look at it now. Pardon? I said you have to go look at that uniform he just picked up right. today. I did. Have you considered giving him the uniform you got? I don't have it. It's my oh. cousins. Ah. And they have grandkids. Or they, you know, one has you know, grandkids. It would be neat. So they made is, if they did donate it, put them side by side. Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. But that's how I even met the team. I think Bill's dog tags are even here in here, too. Yeah. Oh, there's his P-38. Yeah. I wonder if that was his. Had to be. Yes, it it's was really, his. It's really worn. Yeah. This is a P-38, folks. I, I used to have mine until just last Saturday. And I was over in the town where Cindy lives here, Uber Heights, in front of Rural King, and I was showing it to some people, and I think they either got off with it or I lost it somehow. But these are like these are the dog tags, just like I used to wear. I guess Mark likes to display them the way they were supposed to wear them. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can understand why. Being an old soldier. Everything's got to be perfect. Yeah. So. All right. Is that all, Cindy? That's all I have for now. Okay. Until I get some other relatives to donate some items. This guy here, you know who he was, right? Oh yeah, Elvis. Is you see he those in, See those insignia on his shoulder? That was the same unit I was in. Thunderbolts. Okay. Yeah. I want to send this piece out to my buddies up in Cleveland who are Elvis aficionados 
and impersonators. Oh, okay. You'll get a kick out of that. So. All right, thank you, Cindy.